earlier this month and talked about part of his plan to combat the injuries, saying, quote, we've got a plan set up. I'll be doing judo on Fridays just so that I can kind of figure out understanding my body and how to fall. That's key there, and let's go to key. You like the idea of Tua learning to fall, Keyshawn? I mean, you always do some stuff that's not in your sport to try to get things better in your body and, and whatnot, but I don't know if judo, judo I, don't, I don't know much about it, but if somebody's grabbing you and slanging you to the ground, I don't know how you can stop your fall or if his issues is the concussions and he's running and sliding and somebody's diving on him or hitting him out of bounds, I don't necessarily know how that would help you, but whatever, whatever he can do to continue to stay on the field, go ahead and do it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I too don't know a lot about how this might help with concussion mitigation. I, I certainly hope that there's something to be learned there. I do know one thing that can help though, and that's to uh, being hit less with better protection. That's the only thing I feel confident saying uh, would help him in this regard. And it's the number one thing I think the Dolphins need to focus on this off season. Last offseason, there was an emphasis on improving the offensive line. You go out and get Teron Armstead, who's one of the better tackles in football, but he's also a tackle that struggled with injuries. They also have free agents on the offensive line. There was a lot of changes in that lineup last year, and while Tua was the fourth least pressured quarterback in football, don't let that fool you. It's largely because he had the fourth quickest release in football. So if I'm Miami, that is my absolute number one goal this offseason, to work on getting at least depth for that offensive line. That's the best thing you can do to help protect Tua Tagovailoa. Yeah, um, guys, I don't know much about judo either, but I did do a little bit of quick research. It is also translated to the gentle way. It's unarmed martial arts, uh, Japanese martial arts. And the main focus, <laughs> Keyshawn, is grappling, <laughs> ground fighting, like and trying to get your opponent um, to be contained in any way possible. So there you go. We'll see how Tua <laughs> responds to all of that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.